What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay. This is Jay Medicine. Where'd you guys go? Just kidding. I was the one that went away. I haven't made a video in I think it's been like two weeks. It's crunch time, man. It was uh, it was medical school. Medical school hit hard. This time I'm making a video that I've been waiting to make for, you know, a pretty decent amount of time. It's, uh, it's the biggest question I had as an undergrad to any medical school, any medical student or any doctor, anyone that was, you know, that went through medical school. Biggest question I had for them was, hey, I'm an undergrad, it's kind of hard. If I make it to medical school, how much harder is it? Because I don't really know what I'm getting myself into. So I'm here to answer that for you. Life update, I just, you know, I'm going into my ninth week of medical school now. It's been great, honestly, everything's, uh, everything's been going well. It's been, it's been a process, it's been a journey, a lot of, you know, a lot of learning and kind of learning how to do things differently and building on top of things that I built on the previous week. But now that I'm two months into it, I feel like I'm able to make this video and I have enough experience with medical school to be able to tell you how much harder medical school is, if it is harder. And to begin, is medical school harder than undergrad? The answer to that question is yes, it is 100% harder than undergrad. And I could probably just shut the video off and you'd have a good understanding of what the answer to that question is, but I'm not going to because there is a small but pretty significant detail about the difficulty of medical school that definitely makes it doable and, in my opinion, enjoyable. In undergrad, what made undergrad difficult was the fact that a lot of the things that you were learning, in fact, most of the things that you were learning were brand new. So, you know, you're going into undergrad not having this foundation of science, and that's what you're building in undergrad. You're kind of learning the language of science and the moments where it got difficult and i'm putting that in quotations because i'm in med school now um but the, what made it difficult were moments where you were studying and you come across something that was difficult to understand and you'd have to watch a few videos you'd have to ask a question email your teacher something like that and those were the moments that made it difficult it wasn't really studying for you know every single hour, every single day. It wasn't like a lot of information. It's just the information was difficult because you're coming across it for the first time. And it may seem like you're studying a lot, but you're not. <laughs> it's just the information is kind of difficult. You'll you'll realize when you get into med school what uh, studying for long periods of time is. So once you once you finish undergrad, once you have that, you know, foundation of the language of science kind of built. If I were to like if I were to give an analogy, I guess if medical school is learning the language of science uh, or learning any language, then medical school is kind of like, "Oh, you learn the language? Cool. Write me like 15 essays a day now." So, you know, you have the tools to be able to go into medical school and learn and be able to produce information, absorb information, but now you just have to do it every single waking second of your life. So that's kind of what the difficulty of, uh, of medical school entails. It's a lot of time management. So you have to time manage like it's your job and like you're the best at it. So in, in undergrad, time management wasn't really an issue. I could go like a day or a couple days or maybe even like a few days without doing much and then catch up because the tests were spread out over a long period of time. The information was, even though it was difficult to understand, it was like spread out pretty evenly and it was just a long period of time to learn this brand new information. Whereas in undergrad, or in a medical school I should say, what I found myself doing is that same process, but instead of like study for a month and then take a midterm, it was kind of like study for a week and then take the test. So it's a lot of learning on your own. It's a lot of doing things very fast, very efficiently. But the reason it's doable is because you already have that foundation and you're kind of just using that foundation to go crazy. Just learn as much as you can, uh, as quickly as you can. And that's the biggest difference in studying strategies that I've found between undergrad and medical school is undergrad, the highest yield information, the highest yield st studying strategy was What's gonna make me understand this the best? You know, if I if there's a Khan Academy video that's like 17 minutes long, but I'm really gonna get this information, you bet I'm gonna sit there and watch that video for 17 minutes. So it was just what's gonna give me the most amount of information? What's really gonna help me understand this so I can get an A on that test? Whereas in medical school, where you know most medical schools are pass fail nowadays, it's not really knowing the most amount of information because you can't, because knowing that most amount of information is gonna take you a very long time. 
So what you're looking for is what's going to give me the most amount of information over the least amount of time. So even though it's not going to give me 100% of that information, at least I'll be able to do it within a period of time that's manageable and will get me ready for this test that I have to take in a week. Perfectionism is not the name of the game in medical school because in undergrad, perfectionism is what got you the A, but you're not looking for that A anymore. So honestly, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say that medical school has not been stressful or you know I said it's doable it's definitely doable it's enjoyable but it's also stressful just because you're you're doing so much and you know in the beginning not so much anymore because I've kind of learned how to manage my time a little bit better and I'm still getting better at it but you know in the beginning especially there were there were moments where I would just sit there and be like you know I don't I don't think I have enough hours in a day like 24 is not enough I just felt like you, the earth needed to spin a little bit slower to give me more time, but I knew that wasn't an option. So you kind of force yourself to engage in and kind of analyze different studying strategies and, you know, kind of learn what works most efficiently for you. And you have to get really used to the fact that you're not going to learn everything. And that was like the biggest learning curve for me because in undergrad, I was a perfectionist and, you know, the, the material was difficult, but I would understand it if I spent enough time doing it. Whereas in medical school, it's kind of like you have to learn when to put the brush put the brush down. Because if you sit there and you're trying to spend so much time learning it to the 100% capacity that you can learn it, you're gonna end up wasting a lot of your time. So that was the biggest learning curve. So going back to the question of is medical school harder than undergrad again? Yes, <laughs> it's harder. But the definition of difficult changes. Difficult in undergrad is, this is difficult to understand. Difficult in medical school is, I'm spending every waking hour of my day studying and I need to learn how to get more efficient at this. And you slowly learn how to learn X amount of information over Y amount of time and get that little ratio as big as you can possibly get it. And, you know, two months into medical school, I, you know, as stressful as I'm making it seem right now, it's honestly, it's honestly been so enjoyable. It's like, it's been the best experience of my life so far, just because in, in undergrad, you're learning the basic sciences, which, you know, it's cool learning about the amino acids, but it's so much more fun learning about actual medicine and learning about diseases and learning about what can go wrong in a patient and how to spot it and how to treat it. And, you know, as stressful as that is, it makes it, it, makes it worth it because you're learning things that at least for me, I, you know, these are things that I've been waiting to learn for my whole entire life. So again, it's stressful, yes, it's harder, yes, but at least for me, it's much more enjoyable and it gives me a, a much, much greater amount of fulfillment because I actually feel week by week, I feel like I'm becoming a better doctor and that's just the best feeling in the world. So before I end this video, uh, I just wanted to I just wanted to say one more thing. Um, I don't know if you guys know who Rashid is, but he's uh, he's also a medical school vlogger. Uh, a few weeks ago, I was I was watching his video. I've been watching him for like a year and a half now, but I was watching his video and you know just like sitting on my bed going on YouTube and I was watching his video and then all of a sudden in the middle of it he's like, hey, there's this YouTube uh, there's this YouTube med school guy that you guys should check out. His name is Jay Medicine, and I was like, gasp, like. <laughs> How do you know me? Um, that's crazy, but it was it was awesome. Like shout out to Rashid, he's such a cool guy, such a positive attitude. It's inspiring not only for me but to other people to be able to see people go through med school and you know it gets rid of that whole thing where people are like, oh don't go to med school, like it's not worth it because if you really want to do it, trust me, it's worth it. Like I'm two months into medical school now. I know I'm not like extremely experienced, but there's not an ounce in my body that would go back and change my decision like I love what I do every day I love learning the things that I learn every day I can feel myself becoming a better doctor and that's like nothing beats that to be honest so with that being said I'm gonna uh, pour myself a little bit more coffee because I got some work to do but this next week shouldn't be too difficult so hopefully I'll drop another video within the next week and I will see you guys soon